Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial and today we're going to be building something a bit smaller. We're going to be building the Beaulieu tugboat. Now I did do a, a, a very small preview of this in I think the ceramic preview video. Um, and yeah, this is just sort of a, a side addition to that video. So um, I've been asked to do a tutorial for it, so here we go. I'm going to try and do this all in one video as well. Uh, the, the tug in question is, uh, is 76 blocks long, it is 17 blocks wide and the draft of the ship is five blocks high so a little tiddly boat and well of course it is a tug so there you go the size sort of says it all um, but yeah everyone loves a tug so <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be having a tug so there we go so that's what we're gonna be building and uh, I named this the Bewley or the Bewley River I can't remember the full name but uh, I named it after Bewley in the New Forest so there we go a lot of ships or tugs are sort of named well at least the ones in Southampton are sort of named in, uh, after local area so Hence the Romsey tug, um, the cow shot tug, and I named this the Beaulieu, why not? Anyway, what we're going to do now is uh, move on to the build zone. So I've already laid the keel. Uh, the keel is 68 blocks long, that's 68 blocks long. And if you're going to be building this on the water, then you can either build this on the 4th or the 5th block below the surface, depending on how how low you want your boat. But uh, personally, I build it on the 4th block, but if you want to build it lower, then build it on the 5th block below the surface. So there we go. So that's our... our uh, the kill there so like I say it's 68 blocks long so for the uh, the base plate of the ship we're going to start on the fourth block of the kill so I'm going to build on the left and then flip it to the right so I start on the front four fourth block back so one two three four then we're going to build two rows of four one two three four four again one two three four so four four like that and then two rows of five one two three four five one two three four five and then six one two three four five six and then uh, 21 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so there we are that's the outside edge and then after the 21 we want uh, curving in two rows of six 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then two rows of four 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then three 1 2 3 like that and then you should have seven blocks of the keel sticking out the back so one two three four five six seven yep that's fine so that's the uh, the left side of the base plate done there I may as well do the other side saves a bit of time so the other side it's the same again so one two three four one two three four and then two rows of five one two three four five one two three four five and then six one two three four five six and then 21 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and then curving back in we want 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 rows of 4 1 2 3 4 4 again uh, 1 2 3 4 and then 3 1 2 3 there we go that's our base plate done there and like I say you should have 7 blocks of the keel sticking out the back end like so kind of like a little stinger and then what we're going to do now is go to the front end of the 21 so this is the same on both sides go to the front of the 21 and we want to build on the front of the 21 we want to build out two one two and then back five one two three four five and then up one like that and then out one like that so that's the left side so do the same the other side on the front of the 21 out two one two back five one two three four five and then one up and then one out like that so there we are. that's the front of the 21 done and then go to the back of the 21 on both sides the back of the 21 we want uh, out two one two forward two one two up one one and then out one like that and then do the same the other side so the back end of the 21 we go uh, out two forward two up one and out one like that and there you go there's your base plate and side bits done like that and then what you want to do then is from this sticky out block here and the front end you just join them together front to back like like so and then the same on the row below join them together like so so that makes the ship slightly wider and then do the same the other side the one block here build all the way back to the one block on the back and then on the row underneath do the same there like so and there we are that's our little base plate done like so so that's uh, how the ship should look at the moment and uh, there we go so what I'm going to do now I'm going to quickly do a jump cut when I work out what to do next so uh, there we go back in a moment 
Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is move on to the uh, building of the hull upwards. Uh, before we do that, if you're familiar with my builds, then you know how this is going to go. We're going to add signs to each section of the hull. So we'll start at zero. Now this is only optional. So at the start at the front of the kill, and I'll put a zero for section zero. And like I said, this is only optional. So for each section, we'll add a sign. So I'll add one there, and then two, and then three, and then four there, and five. That's number five, actually. And then number six down here. And then seven, one block above that. And then lastly, number eight up there like that. And like I said, this is only optional because it's only a small vessel. You may not need to do this, but I do this to make sure life is a bit easier. So you do the same on the other side. So from one to eight on the other side. And then the same on the back end as well. So zero to eight on the back of the ship just to make life a lot easier. Um, like I say, it's just, just to cover me, really. Um, so, yeah, and what I'm going to do, like I say, if you're familiar with my builds, then you know how this is going to go as well. So I'm going to work on the left side, the left front side for the minute, and then I'll copy it over to the other side later on. We're just going to focus on one side solely at the moment. But if you're building this on your own, or on console, or whatever, it's best to do each section at a time. So when I move to section one, build that one, and then move to the other side and do that one. And then section two, section two, section three, section three, like that. It just makes life a lot easier. So, okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to section zero. And from there, we're going to build in red forward three rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And then one, like that. And then in black, we want up two, one, two. And then up four, one, two, three, four. And then up three, one, two, three, like that. So that's section zero. Now we move on to section one. And like I was saying, do both of them at the same time. So for section one, we want forward three in red, one, two, three. And then two, two, one, two, one, two, plus one, like that. And then in black, we want forward two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and three, one, two, three, like that. There you go, that's section one. Do the same on the other sides, and then, and then I'll move on to section two, which is this one here. For section two, in red, we want forward four, one, two, three, four, and then two, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two. And then in black, we want forward two, one, two, and then up two, one, two. And then two rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So that was section two, and then do the same on the other side. Section three, uh, for section three, we want f in red forward four, one, two, three, four, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then in black, we want forward three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, like that. And then do the same on the other side and then move on to section number four so for section four we want in red forward five one two three four five and then three one two three and then two one two two again one two like that and then in black forward four rows of two one two one two one two one two and then up to one two like that and that drops down in height by one block that's fine and then do the same on the other side and now we move on to section five. So section five in red we want forward five, one, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then in black, forward four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then up two, one, two, like that. And then do the same the other side and then move on to number six. And for number six in red, we want to remove this block here, remove this one, that one there, and replace that with forward six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then in black, we want forward four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, like that, and then do the same the other side, and then move on to number seven. So for number seven, we want in red forward f uh, forward three rows of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then in black, we want forward four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And up one, like that. And that's a drop down in height again, is that right? Currently two, is that right? Two, 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 two. Well, we'll go with it. So that's that one there. Let me just yeah, I think that's fine. So it's down in height there. And now we move on to. Uh, or I did the same the other side. 
That is fine. That does drop down in height by one block, so that's fine. So do the same on the other side and then move on to number eight, the last row. And for number eight, we want in red forward four. One, two, three, four. And in three, one, two, three. And then in black, we want forward three, uh, four rows of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then plus one, like that. And then from there, you want to build back. And from this last row of one here, this last one block, we want to build back seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then down one like that. So it's sort of shaped like that. So it's four rows of two plus one, and then back seven and down one. <coughs> Excuse me. So that was that section done there. So that's section eight done there. So you do the same on the other side for all sections so it'll look fine. And then once you've done that, go on the inside and start filling in the gaps. So I'll just fill in the gaps between the red. Like so. And then fill in the gaps between the black. That's a theory, at least, anyway. Uh, up to a certain point. It will look fine. So I'll do this as quick as I can. That's all fine there. And there you go, that's one side done, and it should, in theory, look something like that. And so that's only one side done, of course, so I've got to quickly copy that to the other side, so bear with me. And if you're doing this like I was explaining, then you should have both sides done already, but uh, I'm just using copy-paste to uh, get the little jobs out of the way. So there we go, up to the centre there. Like so, and then we do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, there's the front end done on both sides, and it should... In theory, or something like that. So there we go, that's that job done there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly do another jump cut while I work out what to do next. And then we can move on to the back end. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So now we're going to move on to the back end of the ship, or the boat, or whatever. Uh, so this is how it should look at the moment. So what we're going to do, the same as before, work on one side. Well, I'm going to work on one side, but as before, you can do either side or whichever. So I'm going to start at zero on the back end. So for zero, we're going to build in red up four, one, two, three, four, and then back two, one, two, like, one, two, so it's back up four, back two like that, and then in black we want back two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three like that. There you go, so that's section zero, and now we move on to section one, and I've got the signs in place already on both sides, so you can do one, and then one, and then two, and then two, and then, like I was explaining earlier. So for section one, uh, we want back four rows of three so one two three one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three like that and then in black we want two rows of two one two one two and then up two one two like that and then you move do uh, do section one on the other side and then move on to section two here so for section two we want in red back three one two three and then back four one two three four and then two rows of three one two three one two three and then in black we want back two, one, two, two again, one, two, and then up two, one, two, like that. And then do the same the other side and move on to section three. So for section three we want in red uh, two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then in black we want three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, like that. And then do the same the other side, and then move on to section four. So for section four, we want in red three rows of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And in three, one, two, three. And then in black, we want three, one, two, three. And then two, one, 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 two. And then up two, one, two, like that. So then that's section four. And then do the same the other side, and then move on to section five which is that one there. So for section 5 we want in red uh, a row of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then 3 rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then in black we want 2 rows of 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and then up 2, 1, 2 like that. So that was section 5. Do the same the other side and then move on to section 6. And for section 6 you want to remove this block here and then replace that with a row of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then three rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then in black we want uh, a row of three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. And then one like that. There you go. And then do the same the other side. And then move on to section seven. And for section seven we want in red uh, a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And then in black we want three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, two again, one, two, and one, like that. And that was section seven. Do the same the other side, and then move on to section eight. And then for section eight we want in red four, back four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. And then in black we want back three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two and then up one like that and there you go that is uh, the left side of the back end done so you do the same the other side like, like I was explaining along the way and then you go on the inside like we did before and start filling in the gaps like so, so it's the same process as we did on the front end just go on the inside and fill in all the gaps and I'll try and do all this on camera just to get it all out of the way get all the red out of the way first and then get all the black done. And I think that's fine. So that's all the gaps filled in on the back end. So what we want to do now is fill in the gap between the front end and the back end. So we'll start with the red. So basically two lines of red all the way the length of the side to fill in the side of the red. Like so. So that's the side of the red done. And then the black you do the same just with four rows of, of black go from the back end first on top of the red and then go all the way to the front end and then just carry on going side to side and everything should be fine like so then the next row number three this would go underneath the overhang we did, we did on the previous row so it goes underneath that uh, extra section there and then fill that in like so and then just build that one block high all the way to the back end looks so as you can see once you completed that it should in theory look something like that so that section we built on the front end which sort of went up and then went back and then down again is that section there so it creates a sort of a, a small lip or a small height adjustment there and then when you fill in the side it will look all uniform and fine I can't really get a decent angle without it clashing with another ship but that's how it should look anyway and uh, that is one side done so you can see, I was explaining here on this side you can see this section here is before we built it, before we filled in the side, and then the other side is how it should look when it's all filled in. So that is that bit done there. So I should quickly copy this to the other side, and then hopefully I should be able to move on again. So I just quickly do this. So that's one side there. I'll quickly copy that. So uh, copy, flip, paste, and there we go. That's both sides done, and that is our hull, the hull of our tugboat done. And then the last job you want to do is just fill in the red floor. So you don't have to do this now, but you can do it any time. But the, the red floor between uh, either side of the keel, I just want to fill that in. So I should use the, uh, the weld edit. So fill 251 by 14 by 400. One side done. And then the other side like that. And there you go. That is the uh, floor of our ship and the hull completed. So that's that little job done. So um, apologies if it was a bit confusing, but uh, if you're familiar with my builds, you'll sort of know how this is going, but there you go. So that's the hull done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another quick jump cut while I work out what the hell I'm doing now, or next. And then uh, we should move on, so back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is add the main deck of the ship. So we're going to go to the very tip of the bow, the front of the ship, and go to the tr on the inside of that. So here's the front, here's the inside, and go one block down from the top, so second block down like so, that's where we're going to start building our deck. Now the deck is going to slope down as we go further back, so that's the first block we want, so on the centre there, so that's one, and then you want four, so that's one, two, three, four, like that. And then underneath that, we want to add eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then underneath that, we want 19, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, like so, so that's 19. Very nearly said 20. And then underneath that, uh, underneath we want to add, well it doesn't really matter, you just want to continue underneath that 
all the way to the back end. So it was 4, 8, 19, and then the rest of the deck goes all the way to the back of the ship. So I just get this out of the way quick. Go all the way back like so. And that should end up one block below the top. That's fine. So there you go. There's your deck center line done. And then what you want to do is fill that in either side. So let's build the deck all the way back on both sides and then build the underside. Like so. so basically you just want to build each row all the way out to the width of the ship. Like so. And do the same on the other side. And then the next row like so. And you sort of get an idea on how this is going. And then as you sort of see when you get down to the next row, which is the end of the 19, you just do the same again. All the way out like so. So it's uh, a bit of a conf not really confusing, it's just a case of filling in loads of wood blocks. So I'll try and do most of this by hand. There you go. There's one side done <laughs> of one bit, so I, the, the rest of it is just uh, filling in the deck all the way to the back end. So I shall quickly stand on this block here and use the, the uh, fill tool. So fill uh, wood by like that. So there you go. There's one side done, and it should sort of look something like that. I do the other side, but I use weld edit to fill that in. Otherwise, I shall be here all bloody weekend. I'm never using the fill tool, you got to make sure each ends of the area you're filling in are sealed, otherwise everything's going to spell out and go everywhere. So, uh, right, let's do this side. There you go, and then the next row along. Fill that in. And there we go, there's our deck all filled in. And it should look something like that. There you go. So you can currently tell from that end, but you can see we do have the sort of bow shear going on. So it drops down three levels down to the main deck and it should look something like that. So I'm going to do another jump cut now because the game is lagging like hell and then uh, we'll move on so back in a moment. Okay back again so what we're going to do now is start with the main superstructure of the uh, tugboat so we're going to go to the front uh, block of the wood so very front of the ship go to the first block of the wood and from this block here you're going to count back to the 19th block that's not that's one nine back so that's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So on the nineteenth block, we'll put a centre block like so, and then we're going to build the front wall of the superstructure five wide. So that's two either side like that, and then you want two out to the sides like so, and then for the sides, we're going to build. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to work this one out. So want to the sides are going to build back seven. So it's the same on both sides. So you can do both sides at the same time. So I want seven back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going over the uh, over the uh, curve of the ship as well. So it's seven, six, and then we want twenty-two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, like that. And then curving back in again, we want seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four. One, two, three, four. Four again. One, two, three, four. And then one in the middle for the centre. I put a colour block there. So there you go. That's that. Uh, the wall's done there. So I do the same the other side quickly. So it's sides are seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And then curving back in, it was 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we go, that is the walls done there, sort of. So there you go, that's that bit done. Then the front wall, we'll go back to the front, and then this front wall we increase that to three high. So one, two, th um, yeah, to three high. So I lost, I lost, sort of lost track of what I was doing then. So build the front wall to three high like that. And then ten blocks of the side, so you're going to increase that to three high as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
9, 10, like that. So 10 blocks off the side, build it to 10 high. So do the same again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that, build to 3 high. So do the same the other side. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 in, to 10 in length, but it's 9 in total because of that block there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. 10, 11, just, yeah, it's 11 in total, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. I'll double check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's 11 in total, sorry, I'm losing count of everything. Oh, who cares? I'm sort of losing track of my mind here. So there you go, so it's the front wall is 3 high, and then the side, 10 blocks of the side wall are 3 high as well. And then for the last block of the 3 high, this block here, what you're going to do from there is build outwards. Uh, diagonally two, so uh, diagonally three rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, out to the side like that. Do the same the other side, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. And then at the end of the two, you're going to build back along the side of the ship. We want a line of 23, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, like that. And then at the end of the 23, we want seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three. Two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then one in the middle for the center like that. And then do the same the other side. So it's 23, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then the 7, 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 rows of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then the 2's, 1, 2, 1, 2, like that, to join together like so, and that creates the, op uh, the overhang of the deck above, and it should sort of looks something like that. Apologies I haven't done explaining this very well but uh, that is sort of how it should look like that. So if you just look at this section here, if you're, if you're confused at how I explain this section then just sort of give, if I look at it like that long enough you sort of get an idea on how it should look to the front section. So it's five wide at the front and then the side ten blocks increase to three high and then you build the two 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 on the top line all the way around like so. And then the walls underneath inside here, the walls that are already here, you're going to increase them to three high as well, so two, three like that, and as you can see when you build them to three high um, they're one block lower than the outside edge, so that's fine, so when we come to add the deck the deck will sit in, on there like that, so just build the rest of the walls all the way around to three high and uh, everything should be okay, so I'll do this as quick as I can all the way around sort of like so I'm trying to do as much of this on camera as I can because cheating is not very uh, not very good. Even though I do it all the time. So there you go. There's, there's half the walls done, increased in height. So like I said, I quickly do the other side to three high. Like so. And do this last row as well. like so, and then there's one more row over here and there we go, there's the walls increased in height like so and then if you go to the back of the ship along the top line here on the inside you can start filling in the deck and this will go from the back end here all the way to that front wall we built which is five wide and the front end so as before like with my other bills you just uh, fill in the deck in this area and it should all look fine I won't do it all I'll <coughs> I mean, I'd do a, a weld edit, but that sort of gives you an idea of what to do. Just fill in the deck from the back end all the way to the front, and then everything should be fine. So I'll quickly, hang on, actually, don't do that. I'm just trying to work out, actually. No, 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 some things, some things are not right. I do apologise, don't do that. Don't fill the deck all the way. Don't, don't, don't do that. Because some things I have not done properly. I've got to add bridge wings first. So apologies there. Apologies, apologies, apologies. So I'm just going to quickly do a jump cut while I sort out the bridge wings. And then we can fill in the rest of the deck. So uh, back in a moment.
Okay, back again. Uh, disaster nearly averted. So what we're going to do is to add the bridge wings first, and then we can fill in the rest of the deck. So apologies again that I screwed that up. So we go back to the front wall of the uh, superstructure we just built, and we're going to add a wood block on the front, front centre block on the top, like that. Add a wood block, and then from there, we'll add a front centre block, and then we we'll build that five wide. So two out that side, two out that side, like that, and then out to the side you want. Uh, we want two like that. So behind the f behind the row of five, add two out like that, and then we want two rows of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Out to the side like so, and then back two. One, two, and then inwards three. No, inwards. It is three. So one, two, three like that. So in inwards three, and then we want to build back uh, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that to connect up to the rows of two like so. Do the same the other side, so it's f from the f row of five wide, build out two, one, two, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back two, one, one, two, inwards three, one, two, three, and then back seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that, and that should connect up like so. And then from the rows of seven, the back, so you've got the rows of seven that go back to the connect up to there. So from the rows of seven of white, you're going to go from there and add the wood blocks all the way across the width of the ship, like so, all the, all the way across to the other other row of seven, like so. And that is where the de the height of the deck changes. So underneath that, add another line of wood underneath, like so. Like that to give you the boundary between the back end and the front end. So there's the there's the bulkhead basically. So like I was saying, from the rows of seven back add the wood blocks across and then forward of that point you want to add the wood blocks all the way to the front of the ship or all the way to the front of the uh, of the dock of the bridge wings so I'll do this freehand like so and like I said this is not going too well this tutorial I do apologies apologize that uh, things don't always go to plan but uh, I'm only human sometimes so just quickly get this deck filled in Like so, and there you go. Oh, hang on, missed one block, and there and there. And there you go, there's the front half of the uh, bridge deck, like so. And then the back end, we go from the back end, like so, and then build this one block below the top, wo uh, top wood, like so. And this will go all the way to the back end, like I was explaining. So the wood that we filled in to begin with is fine. You just connect this section up to that down there, and then everything should be fine. So I should quickly use the fill tool, and there we go. That's the uh, the wood deck all filled in. And I, I I forgot all about this 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 uh, ridge here. So that's what confused me. So I do apologise that I did nearly screw that up. So uh, yeah, things don't always go to plan. But that is uh, that little job done there. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another jump cut while I work out what to do, and then uh, try and make sure I do this properly. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're gonna do now is work on the ship's bridge wings. Uh, and wheelhouse so uh, what we're going to do we're going to build a wall around the bridge first so the area we built the overhanging area we built f on the previous more well, previous minute ago uh, we're going to add a wall around that so start from the front wall here just add a wall across the front like so and then you're going to go around the back of the bridge round to the back of the bridge we just add a wall around the outside like so like that and then up from the from the back of the bridge you're going to build back seven on the side so one two three four five six seven and then on the rows below add two two and one back like so so it looks something like that so do the same the other side build the wall around the front of the bridge wings around the side and then back in was again around the back of the bridge wings and then seven back on the side one two three four five six seven and then on the side here out two two and one like that to create the wall on the lower section there so there we are there's the walls for the bridge wings like so now for the ship's wheelhouse we're going to add s seven windows across the front um, these will be seven blocks, so one in the middle and then one, two, three to the side, one, two, three to the other side like that. So it's single, well, individual windows but no pillar in between, so they're just windows like that. Um, and then a pillar each side, like so. And then for the side walls of the ship's wheelhouse, so go from the back of that pillar, we're going to build back uh, five, so one, two, three, four, five like that. And then inwards three, one, two, three, and then back four, one, two, three, four, like that. Do the same the other side, back five, one, two, three, four, five, in three, one, two, three, and then back four, one, two, three, four, 
join them together on the back like so and then build these walls all the way around to two blocks high all the way around like so up the other side like so and there you go there's the deck house done and then on the top of the roof we're going to use uh, quartz slabs just to fill all that in so I'll use slabs all the way around to fill in the roof and I try and do this freehand doing slabs with world edit is uh, sort of hit and miss potluck really so I shall do this freehand just to cover up the roof very much gradually running out of space up here the problem with building very very small boats you got a very very small space but a very very big margin of error there you go there, there's the uh, wheelhouse done there and it don't look too bad. And as before, you, well, as with the previous builds, you can start adding doors or windows to the to the uh, wheelhouse. So, we'll put a door on the side like so. We'll put a window there, and that do really do the same to the side. Add a door there, and then a window just there like that. So yeah, there's the majority of the doors or windows on that deck house done. And you can also add the doors or windows on the deck house below. These these deck walls on the side. I didn't mention that previously but uh, you can start adding doors and windows to that if you want to. If I fly over to the prototype you can see I've got the doors and windows under here. They're just randomly placed so um, it's up to you how you want to do that one but uh, there you go. But That is the uh, ship's wheelhouse in place up there. So what we're going to do now is build the funnel deck house. Um, I'm going to work that one out first. So the, for, the, for the next deck house we're going to go from the ridge. So one block back from the uh, end of the deck house on this ridge here so basically in this groove from the end of the deck where the deck changes in height you're going to build a center block there and then we're going to build the deck house uh, nine wide so that's four either side so one two three four that way one two three four that way and then the sides are 15 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen same the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then two at the end two at the end like that and then round like that so that's the deck house like that and then you can increase that to two blocks high all the way around so similar to the previous deck house just build it too high all the way around like so and I'll put a centre block to mark the centre like that and then the roof the same again it's just slabs so once again get your slabs out and uh, build all the way across length width height whatever way you want to go with your uh, deck house this is what really takes the time especially if you're not using weld edit because like I say using weld edit to build slabs is sort of a potluck lottery really because uh, sometimes the slabs will sit in place properly sometimes they'll be half a block higher sometimes they'll be half a block lower and sometimes they don't spawn at all so it's best to do slabs freehand at least then if you fuck it up it's going to be uh, your own fault I do apologize for swearing I have been told but uh, you know these things do happen the videos have been set so that they do not show up on YouTube kids but uh, people uh, kids still watch them and I can't help that but there you go there's the deck house done then and as before you can start adding the doors and windows I'll put a, a few at random and then sort of every couple of blocks I'll put a door at the end there like that so there we go doors and windows there and then the same across the other side uh, I put that window in the wrong place I think so I put the window there and then windows every other sort of every two blocks and then a door at the end like so and there we go there's that deck house done and uh, it sort of should look something like that not brilliant not perfect but it will do and then what we're going to do we're going to go back to the ship's wheelhouse and add the mast so you can see the mast on top of the wheelhouse we're going to go to the center of the front on the top center front top of the of the wheelhouse and for the mast we're going to count back to the seventh block so one two three four five six seven that's seven from the center top so remove that slab there from the seventh block back and replace it with a block and recap again so center front of the top of the wheelhouse then count back to the seventh block and replace it with a block and then you're going to build this to nine blocks high so that's one block already two three four five six seven eight nine 
and then six behind that one two three four five six like that and then using your slabs go about four blocks down and build out three one two three that way and one two three that way and there you go there's your mast that is basically it there's nothing really more to do with the mast so there we go and then we'll go to the back end of the ship's wheelhouse now we're going to add some vents so in the corner if we go to the side of the ship's wheelhouse into where the, 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 the side walls go inwards to this corner here we're going to add a vent in there which is five high so one two three four five and one forward do the same the other side one two three four five plus one forward and then diagonally well I'll actually go one two three blocks back and one out from the first mat from the first pillar um, vent so one two three back and then one out like so do the same again so one two three four five and one forward do the same the other side so it's one two three back one out one two three four five up and one forward like that and uh, it should look something like that on the re on the one over there on the prototype I did have three across the back but I'm only going to do two here because it does make it look a bit cluttered so um, yeah it does look a bit odd anyway we'll go back to the uh, front of the ship's wheelhouse or front of the main superstructure and we're going to add a mech which is basically a line of black blocks so from the front of the ship's we uh, ship superstructure go th on the center go four blocks forward so one two three four and add a line of two one two like that forward and then two and then two like that so you got three lines of two like that and then join them together like so and that is sort of a, a mechanical system which is a sort of a pulley system that you know it's very vague pulley system because it's just a, a cluster of black blocks and then for that little mast on the bow there if you go back to the mech and go about six blocks forward so one two three four five six and then build up six so one two three four five six in white and it should look something like that so that is our mast done there and uh, it don't look too bad so one more job for the moment we're going to go to the back end of the of the second deck house we built and you can see you've got two big large vents we're going to build behind it so go from the center block of the back of the wheel of that deck house and go about three blocks back from the center so one two three and then three blocks out from the center so one two three make it four and on that center on that fourth block make that the center of our vent so they build a cross around that so center block plus a cross around it like so do the same the other side so four out one two three four build our cross like so and I think they're slightly more spaced out than the ones on the prototype that's no big deal so the vents are going to be uh, I think it's four high it? so build them to four high so two three four two three four two three four two three four, two, three, four plus two in the middle like that and then using our court stairs so get our court stairs like that we're going to build our vents forward so stairs 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 and put stairs on top and then with blocks build two forward two forward two forward and one and then with our stairs stair stairs stair stairs other side stairs stair stairs stair stairs like that same with the other one build it four high two three four two three four two three four two two three three four plus two in the middle stairs 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 and then two forward two forward two forward one and then stair stairs stair stairs stair stairs stair stairs and there we go that is that little job done there and then for the lifeboat we're going to go a few blocks back from that so if we go from the center block of that deck house again and go about I don't know it was about six blocks back so one two three four five six if you make it seven so seven blocks back we put a block a white block like so and then either side of that put stairs stairs upright like that so this will be this will be the lifeboat support and I don't know how long the lifeboat keel is I'm just going to measure that so the lifeboat keel is uh, actually one block longer than it needs to be so that it's 12 long so the lifeboat keel is 12 long so on the on that block center block we just built there so that's stairs either side build a keel of 12 so on the top build 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 back like that and then a block underneath plus stairs either side like that and that's your keel of your lifeboat and then at each end you build your lifeboat two back and then one up front end build two forward and one up 
like that, and then we build our lifeboat around that. So the bottom of the boat, uh, we'll build that. Like I said, now this is something I sort of do at random, so if you want to copy this, you can. So it's not a particularly pretty design, but there you go. So there's the bottom row of that, that. and then from that front block, we build uh, out, out two, out two, back end, out two, out two, join them together along the side. Like that, same the other side. Out so it's back to and then join it together like so so there you go they're just sort of lifeboat like that not brilliant not perfect not pretty but it will do and then join them together well I'll fill in the whole boat really and it should look something like that not brilliant not perfect but it'll have to do and then for the colour of the lifeboat the, the canvas top I used red so we used red wool to cover it up and uh Everything should look fine. It's not a, necess a necessary thing. And there we go. That's that little job done there. Marvellous. Now what we're going to do now is add handrails around the edge of the deck. So we'll get our handrails which are iron bars. And what we're going to do is where are these rows of two. So you've got the walls that go from the bridge wings. And then you've got the rows of two, two and one. From that one, you're going to add handrails around the edge of the deck, all the way back and around to the other side. So, we get this little job out of the way. All the way around, like so. And then up to the other side. Like that and there we go that's our little job done there marvelous so what we're going to do now we're going to add pillars which are these uh end rod things you can see on the prototype here they start from the uh, from the end of the rows of two on there where they get the rows of two go outwards so we want to build the pillars every second block so every two blocks add a pillar so if i start on the uh, the right hand side so you can see from the bridge wings there go back to where the rows of two are and this row of this row here just below where the where the handrails begin we add our first pillar so it's a, it's a two high pillar like so and then every other block so every two blocks add a pillar all the way down to the back end of the ship and up the other side not a brilliant job but you know it's a thing it's not pretty it's not beautiful it's not that great but it will do and it's going to have to do because I can't be bothered to redesign all of this But it should all work anyway. So you go, that's one side. I quickly do the other side. This is the sort of job that gives you a real headache. And trust me, I've got one now. That probably the drink I just had. La 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 la, dee 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 dee. And there we go. There's our pillars added all the way around. Our uh, ship like so. And like I say, you can start adding the doors and windows. You may have already done this, the doors and windows on the inside. I'll do that later on, but uh, I've got one more job to do before I'm going to do a jump cut. Let's get it to get our handrails again. And what we're going to do is from this deck house, this square deck house, what we're going to do from the front corners, we're going to add handrails out and then up one like so. From the other corner as well, out one and up like that. And then join them together all the way around the edge. So we're going to add our handrails all the way around the edge of the deck house like so and it's really awkward to do because the handrail don't, don't connect to anything very well and it's a real pain in the ass like that handrails like that across the side do the same the other side from that end there and that end there and then join them together oh, join them together they're a bloody nuisance 
like that. There you go. Across the sides like that. You can do them across the front as well if you want to. And I've deleted the one I shouldn't have. Right, so on the prototype, I did do them across the front. But it's up to you if you want to do that. May as well, I know. Like I said, they're all pain in the ass to put together these things. Because of the way they're designed, they do sort of restrict on access to everything. But, you know, it's up to you if you want to do them. So there you go, there's that job done there. And it uh, don't look too bad. Now, one more job, before, like I say, one more job again before I do another jump cut is to add the propellers and the rudder. Now, the propellers are a bit of an awkward thing. If we go to the very back end of the fin of the ship, so the, the very back end of the keel, and looking forward to the other side. I want to go from there, we go out, we build white, go out two, and then, how do we do this? We go out two and then up one like that, and then add a red block, no, actually get a yellow block. We want yellow terracotta for this. So, out two and up one in white, and then on that, on that white block, add a yellow block there, and then remove the white, and then we can, we can add our propeller. So, blade, 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 and blade underneath, plus one back, like so. And these aren't attached very well. I may need to do these again. Yeah, so apologies there. We're going to do that again, so these things are a bit crap, because they really are just crappy propellers. So, from the end of the keel, out three, and then up one, and then centre block like that, and then remove the white. So it's out three, up one, and then add the yellow block, and then blade, 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 and blade, plus a centre block, and there's your propeller. And then from the back end of the propeller, just build all the way forward, till it connects with the hull like so. Do the same the other side, out three, up one, plus the centre of the prop, remove the white, and then blade, 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 centre block, and then forward, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then for the rudder itself, uh, I'm going to sort of think what to do with this. I'm going to use cobblestone wall again for the hinges. So remove the sign and put a hinge there and a hinge, a block above that. And then the hin uh, the rudder itself is three high. One, two, three. And then two, like that. And there you go. That's the, that's the rudder. Nothing special, but, you know, it's a thing. And uh, it, don't, it don't look too bad. It's not brilliant. It's not perfect, but it will have to do. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, work out the dimensions of the funnel. And then I think we can call it a day. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is add the funnel. And for the funnel, we're going to go on top of the uh, second deck house here. And we're going to go from the centre block of the front. And we're going to go back to the fifth block back. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then remove the centre block there and put that front block of our funnel there. So it's fifth block back. And we'll cut our funnel. And we're going to build the funnel three wide. So cut two slabs, one either side like so. So it's three wide. And then two out each side like so. And like so and then back two like that back two like that and then on then on the inside of that build two again two again and then one in the middle like so and there you go there's the shape of the base of the funnel so you've got a cross in the middle basically so it's a sort of square like that and then on the front of the funnel it's basically the same design all the way around you're going to build up uh four so in the middle we've got four one two three four Behind that we'll go up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, three, four, five. And then all the way around, just build that same design. So it's up four, six, five, next row along, up four, six, five, next row along, four, six, five. And then around to the other side, so up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and then all the way around the other side, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll say just build it all the way around the same, really. You can do it any colour you want as well. I mean, I only do it in black because the prototype one's black, but uh, it's up to you how you want to do this one. And then the last row. Like 
like so and there's your funnel built up and then what you want to do is just fill in the gaps on the sides and the same on the other side I'll just go on the inside for this one so I can see what I'm doing and there you go there's the funnel sort of done like that and then for the slant at the top what you do if you look at it side on what you do you leave the first two blocks and then remove the next three so one two three same the other side one two three and the middle one like that and there you go there's the slant at the top like so and if you want to add the stripe what you do either, either uh, wherever you want to put it sort of along the about four blocks down from the top so one two three four look at it from the side build one and two and then down one from that build one two and three like that and the next one was about two blocks down so or th third block down so one two and then third block down do the same again so one two and then down one one two three like that and there you go there's just this stripe on both sides it's just not brilliant but you know you sort of have to work with what you got so I quickly get this all out of the way So was it uh, one, two, and then three, and then just join them together across like that. And there you go, there's your funnel. It's not brilliant, not perfect, it looks bloody awful, but that's the funnel. And uh, it don't look too bad. Marvellous. So that's pretty much the tugboat done. Like I said, the last job really is just to add the doors and windows to the superstructure below. So I shall quickly do that. Get our doors, which we need put our doors on the side and then our windows every few blocks and then a few doors I'll say it's not uh, anything pretty not perfect not beautiful but it will have to do because that's all I really give a damn about and then put a window there the last door on the back there like so and that's one side done of the windows and doors and uh, I do the other side doesn't well, off camera because it doesn't really matter because I just we got one side done anyway, and it should in theory look something like that. So that is the Bewley tugboat done. I do apologise for screwing it up along the way, but you know how these things go. But we'll look around the thing we have so far, and uh, well, what we have so far, this is as good as it's going to get because I ain't doing no more. That is that build done, and it took longer than I was expecting. I didn't, didn't expect to do it today, but. Oh, I thought I had spare time, so I thought I'd do it. So there we go. So there we go. That's our Bewley tugboat done. And uh, she don't look too bad. And so there you go. So if you want to build this thing and make your own adjustments to it, you can. Because it's only a, a short, fat-ass build. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So thanks for watching, subscribing, and all things like that. And requesting this build. I didn't expect it to be uh, requested, but uh, you know how these things go. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. Thanks to all who have subscribed and the patrons and things like that, and I shall leave you to it, so uh, bye for now.